Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. In a flash of inspiration, I fi finally figured out how to turn a witch's broom. A broom that any self-respecting or not self-respecting witch would be proud to own. A broom that will allow them to soar through the heavens and on Halloween or any other night of their choosing. So this broom, crafted out of fine maple, touched with a just a hint of beeswax and eye of newt. A broom that is just a classic for now and forevermore. And then on a personal note, to settle the question once and for all as to whether it's automatic or stick, I can drive a stick. I'm starting with a bolt of recently harvested green maple. When harvested, I turned this piece round and waxed the ends. It's dried for two, three months now. Now it's the perfect piece for my witch's broom. I'll cut a tenon on the end and then part off the length that I need. Now with the mounted in my chuck, I'll do some rough shaping with a gouge. For a witch, smooth is rough and rough is smooth. So I'll leave this piece with a fine witch's finish. Now to drill out the end with a Forstner bit. I could have hollowed it with a gouge, but I was, it was hanging out a long way from the chuck and my new steady rest does not fit this lathe. I had to adjust my speed belts down to have enough torque to drill this bit of end grain. Back to shaping the exterior. Fortunately, my tailstock still fit into the recess to give some support while I refined the exterior of the broom. Mainly, I need to take the handle down to a good diameter and blend it with the business end of the broom. I'll rough it with a gouge and refine it with a skew. Now for the broom straws. The handle is already weakened from having the handle turned. So I'll prop up the end with some scrap wood. I do not want it to break off and I'll saw the straws apart with a handsaw. and then refine the straws just a little with my very fine 80 grit sandpaper, a witch's favorite grit. Finally, I'll part it off with a skew. This one is so activated that it already tried to fly away. Now I have a witch's broom, the perfect accessory for any witch. Of course, a witch has a potion that can be used to resize the broom to their specific tastes. 
Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our website and YouTube channel. Safe turning makes for good turning. Please wear your face shield. Until next time, this is Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. Thank you.